Good morning, everybody. Good, great news. We have a new Pokemon trailer. Tra tra journey. They have a new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer called Jump Into Pal a P Paldean Journey. It is 14 minutes long. Um, I'm excited to take a look at this, and I'm excited to share this with you. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's us get started. Let's not waste any time. All right, everyone. It's almost time to begin your journey Breakfast the of Pokemon Champions. Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Are cool. you ready? You'll get to catch Pokemon, raise them, and battle them. As you okay, so um, Snowrun, Gallade, and Frostlass confirmed. Lovely. Embark on an adventure where the familiar charms of the Pokemon series evolve into a new experience. Listen, I know that. Listen, Pokemon series I'm well aware that this is the Pokemon, um, the Pikachu clone of the current generation. Doesn't hold a candle to the previous ones, A. And uh, B, Fido is just so much better. ...into a new experience. As a student at an academy in the Paldea region, you'll take part in an independent study program called The Treasure Hunt. And you'll search this vast world for a precious treasure of your very own. But hey, at this point, you probably knew all that already, right? No bloke. Here's no something bloke. we hope even you well-informed viewers will enjoy. A sneak peek at four particular trainers' journeys in Paldea. Interesting. Now, let the adventures begin. Oh, I like Lechonk. I like Lechonk. This trainer is battling a Pokemon called Lechonk. Lechonk is a gourmand. It's proud of its nose, which it uses to sniff out delicious food. Look at him! He's fucking amazing! We stand LeChonk. Oh, look! Quaxley terastalized! Terastalizing is a phenomenon unique. I gotta be honest. It's just the gimmick of the gen. Like Dynamaxing was in was was okay, I guess. Cool Godzilla battles. This is fine too. I haven't been hyped about a new mechanic since um, Mega Evolution. Z moves were cool, but and they meshed really well with um, Mega Evolutions. But I'm I'm now to the Paldea region. But all Pokemon can do it. It adds extra punch to moves of the Pokemon's Terra type. What's that over there? Is that a glowing Pokemon? It seems to be a Jigglypuff. But why is it shining so bright? Better approach it slowly and start a battle. Interesting. Whoa! It terastalized! Looks like this Jigglypuff has the water type for its Terra type. Apparently, these sparkly wild Pokemon will terastalize in battle. Okay. So that answers the question on how um you it, it may, on how it's easier to farm terastalizing Pokemon, so you can see what they have before you catch them. Jigglypuff seems pretty tough, but Quaxley's strong too. Dealing enough damage to a wild Terra Pokemon causes its terastalization to come undone. Hmm. That's actually a really cool gimmick. I like that. That's it's, it's um okay. That's cool. It makes you it, it gives you the punch of like you feel like a you beat a boss a little bit. Now throw a Pokeball. Nice! The wild Jigglypuff was caught! Some Pokémon- Oh, uh, let's- Oh! This is- I really like this UI screen. This looks really clean. And I like how you can see through to, like, the back- That's- I really fucking like that. They did a really awesome job. So, from a UI design- Like, as a- Dev- Like, with some UI backer. I like this a lot. This is, a Much better than, like, just- Like, it makes it, um- the small change of like having like a transparent background so you can see make like kind of is in line with that feeling of um 
oh, you're on an adventure, you know, you can't, you're not just pausing things and keep, it, I don't know, it's, just, it's nice. Like this Jigglypuff, have a Terra type completely different from their regular type. Any Pokemon is capable of having any of the 18 different types as its Terra type. That could be broken. What's this? Quaxley's out there in the world, charging straight toward that Litleo. Looks like Quaxley battled Litleo on its own and won. That's because the trainer gave Quaxley the Let's Go command. Using Let's Go will send your lead Pokemon out onto the field to battle. If a Pokemon gets sent out toward an item, it'll go pick it up. Just like Quaxley here. What a useful command for searching your surroundings. These Pokemon Very. are so helpful, giving their all for their partner. Next, the trainer opens his map to see where he wants to go. You can set a place as your destination to keep yourself on track as you go. Okay. Then we can hop atop the legendary Pokemon Miraidon and get going. And what have we here? It's a base belonging to Team Star, the school troublemakers. Starfall Street, one of the three major stories that will make up your Paldean adventures, will unfold in bases like this one. Time to face Team Star. Our trainer rang the bell and barged into the base. That takes some guts. But things look bad. There are lots of grunts around and they keep sending out Pokemon. They just won't quit blocking the way. We'll need to use Let's Go to defeat Team Star's Pokemon. I like that. I really like that. A oh, lot, actually. Now, I hope that there's some level of randomization to this and maybe even some randomization of, like, the location. So, I know it's, it's Nintendo. I'm, I know it's, it's Game Freak. I know it's not going to happen. I know I'm asking too much. But this looks like a really fun premise. There we go. All the grunts have been defeated at last. Oh wait, is that some kind of tricked out car? It is. And atop it is Mela, the boss of Team Star's fire crew. In the source of Pokemon Twinner's bisexual panic for the last month and a half. She's obviously tough. It's easy to see why she's a boss. Time for these trained up Pokemon to battle. I love Porkle. He's so derpy. You'll have to wait for your own adventure to see how a battle like this plays out. Now, let's check in on another trainer. How's her adventure going? Aha! Uh -huh. She's using the TM machine at a Pokemon Center. The TM machine lets you make your own TMs, also known as technical machines, using materials Pokemon drop when you defeat or catch them. No shit! No now, shit! Now, where will she go next? Seems to be a desert-like area. So that's how they're adding the crafting and stuff, like, in the drops and stuff from, um, Arceus. I'm sure there's more, and I'm sure there's gonna be, like, more ways for them to utilize that, because that can't, that TMs just aren't enough, but... That's brilliant. I love that. And you can make more if you need them. You don't even have to buy them. That's cool. I love that. Yeah, under a blazing sun. Just looking at it is enough to make you thirsty. Oh, her Rotom phone is ringing. Sounds like Arvin, her friend in the next grade up, needs some help. To give Arvin a hand, the trainer's headed to a rock face where a titan lurks. This is one of the stops on He's the a path big of boy. Legend, a story where you'll seek out legendary herbs called Herba Mystica. He's a big boy. There it is. A gigantic titan Pokemon. Time to battle. Claw. Right off the bat, there's Icy Wind, the move our trainer taught Drifloon earlier. Icy Wind lowered the Titan Cloth's speed stat. Drifloon terastalized to become a grass type. This is Terra Blast, a new move that changes type to match the user's Terra type when the user is terastalized. So it's like hidden power. For a Pokemon with a Terra type different from its regular types, looks like Cloth suddenly got somewhere else to be. Wait, what's our trainer doing now of all times? Looks like she's taking a little break from adventuring to trade Pokemon with a friend. And over here, her trade partner has received Giraffe Rig. 
Seems like she immediately added Giraffe Rig to her team, and she's gonna let it run around in the field and train up for some battles. Okay. What? <sighs> All right. Let's see what it evolves into. Oh, could Giraffarig be evolving? Hang on. Look at how they massacred my poor boy. Did its tail become its head? Or is its head wearing its tail? What an unexpected evolution. Seems like Giraffarig has evolved into Farigarath. In the Paldea region's Pokedex, you can see photos of Pokemon as well as information about them. So you can get to know them even better. Alright, the pictures in the Pokedex. I like that a lot, actually. Let's check out the town of Artisan next. It looks like one big park. Now that the trainer's Pokemon have gotten stronger, it seems she's made her way to a gym. She's following Victory Road, the story where you'll conquer all eight gyms to achieve champion rank. Nimona, the battle-loving trainer who'll show you the ropes, is all fired up. Before you can battle a gym leader, you'll first have to pass the gym test at their gym. Better get started right away. All right, that's the gym test passed. Time to battle the gym leader. And this is, and, th and this was another source of, um, I don't want to say bi panic, but certainly horny panic on Pokemon Twitter. I'm just saying, I already covered. The jokes and shit about this dude, so we're gonna keep moving. Here comes Gracias, the grass type gym leader with a striking entry. Fido's so damn cute. Whoa! Pseudo Wudo terrestrialized and became a grass type. Imagery ho! How's our trainer gonna handle this one? Aha! She's gonna fight back by having her own Pokémon terastalize. Fido became a flying type. That should give it an edge against this grass type pseudo Wudo. No matter who or what you're up against, with some smart terastalizing, you'll have nothing to fear. I can't wait to see how battles will unfold between terastalized Pokemon. It's whatever for me. All right, customization comes back. Cool. Salon to spice things up. Wow, look at all these options. How are you supposed to choose? Okay, this is good. Huh. I like that. I kind of want to try that hairstyle too. And now to complete the look. Plenty to choose from here, too. Oh, you can really Oh, so you like can get spend all day on this. You can really get down to it. My god. And while you're trying out all sorts of styles, oh, you cute. can pull the camera app and go snap, snap, snap. Looks like this trainer found the perfect style. Line up a good shot and snap. Now okay. they updated their profile picture. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Looking I like that a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much of it, but or memorable moments oh, with cute. beloved Pokemon is just one more way to enjoy your adventure. And now it's picnic time. So my girlfriend loved the cooking game mini game in Sword and Shield. I'm so happy that it's coming back for with her. Pokemon. When Pokemon have gotten dirty from a long journey, a nice scrub and shower gets them all clean. Looks like it feels nice, too. Before having lunch, Pokemon can get out some energy by playing with a ball. This is cute. You can just tell how much fun they're having. Oh, wow. Could this be a Pokemon egg? 
Apparently, eggs can sometimes be found during picnics. Okay, that's cute. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. Sandwich time! Ooh! The came prepared with plenty of ingredients they bought in town. It can be they... tough deciding which sandwich. <laughs> this actually eat. looks... Alright, listen. Listen. Good. Pokemon games are as are as good as the gimmicks that don't involve battling. That is what we remember them most fondly for. I I love Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, it's cool, but like you think, but the, it's the secret bases. It's the it's the Battle Frontier, like just existing as a as a place to just explore. That's separate. Like it's just this is really good. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. Well, overstuffed. It might not hold together. Just gotta put the bread on top and finish it off with a pick. Done. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Oh, looks like it's a hit with everyone. Eating sandwiches can give you benefits, like making certain types of Pokemon easier to catch or making your Pokemon gain more experience. Oh, that's actually cool. For a group photo with that is significantly less broken than just having them get a, get a shit ton of experience points. These satisfied Pokemon. Where to go next? Oh, hey, looks like more of our trainer friends have shown up. All right, they're going to take on a Terra Raid battle. Can these trainers work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon? So this is replacing the Dynamax stuff, which is cool. We'd love to see it. Like, that's all well and good. Um, let's, keep it, let's keep it going. Before time runs out. Their opponent is a Chansey that's terrestrialized into a ghost type. What kind cool. of fight will the strong, sparkling Chansey put up? It's really powerful. These trainers better stay determined, band together, and strike back. What are y'all sitting around for? My God, hustle! If Pokemon gets knocked out in a Terra raid battle. Don't worry; it can recover and rejoin the fray. All right. Hang in there, Sableye. Okay, so the ma so, so the time to kill is quicker, but the time to come back isn't, and so it's a lot more active. I actually like that a lot. Along with using your Pokemon's moves, you also have the option to support your allies by cheering. It's all about teamwork. Watch how the battle's going and decide how you'll handle And so you can actually choose the benefits to you. I love that change they're iterating. It's good. And work with your fellow trainers. Almost there. Keep it up. Oh, wow. That was a beautiful Terra Raid battle victory! And with it comes the chance to catch this Terra Pokémon! When you join forces to win your battles, the bonds between friends and Pokémon shine even brighter. Alright! That Chansey with a rare Terra type is now part of the team. So, what'd you think? While you were getting a look at these four trainers' journeys, did you spot a glimmer of something that could become your personal treasure? Encounters with Titan Pokémon? Face-offs with Team Star? Taking on gyms? There's plenty more to be said about all these things, of course. What you just saw was only a glimpse of the adventures awaiting you in the Paldea region. I'm excited! Which Pokémon will you choose? Who will you meet? What sort of exciting adventures will you have? It's all up to you. Your adventures are right around the corner. May they shine bright. I just want to say for the record, I took this day off of work. And uh, I'll be streaming this shit all day. I'm just saying straight up. Oh, this looks like it's going to be fun. A lot of fun, actually. <laughs> I'm excited. 
like no cap. I'm 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 genuinely excited for this. This looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate your time, your viewership. Um, a big thanks to my patrons, not patrons, my uh, members, uh, Tobias of Tantalus and Professor Blue. Uh, they support the show for as little as a dollar a month at uh, buymeacoffee.com slash iMedia. I appreciate you so much as a bunch. And a big thanks to you for watching and experiencing this with me. I genuinely do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Love your fucking face, and I will see you uh, probably, uh, if not tonight, then certainly tomorrow for some Minecraft, a Minecraft stream. Regardless, have a good one, everybody, and I will catch you guys later.